Hello and welcome to today's Daily Rift. Um, and there have been even more changes since yesterday. The first thing you'll notice is that I'm now using Cluster Arrow. Um, I had a look at some stuff on the internet and came to the conclusion that Cluster Arrow works a little bit better with uh, the abilities I'm using than Elemental Arrow does, especially with this particular rune, which is the, I think it's the Maelstrom rune. Um, and you can see we're doing a lot of damage with that. Um, and it's working out really well. The downside to using Cluster Arrow is it costs 40 Hatred uh, per turn. That's before uh, any modifiers on the Hatred cost, so... It'll be slightly less than that, but it's still a lot more than most other abilities um, that you would use on the right mouse button. Um, so yeah, uh, that was one thing. The other thing you might notice is that my Paragon level's gone up a fair bit between this video and yesterday's video. That's primarily because I've spent some time uh, in the interim clearing out some Greater Rifts. Um, I've said before I'm not a big fan of doing them, but I do like to get my Keystones out, and I sort of, with the new gear, I wanted to see just how far I could get. So far I've managed to get uh, a Tier 30 Keystone, but I haven't actually done Tier 30. I'm still clearing out my low tier Keystones just to try and get high ones before I do that. Um, so, the result of all this is that I managed to get a bunch of relatively nice new legendaries. Um, one of which was finally the Marauder's Pants. Um, so I have the Marauder's Pants. Now, I already had six-piece Marauder's Bonus because the pants were the only set piece I was missing and I'm using a Ring of Royal Grandeur, which allows me to have one less Marauder's piece um, for what I want. But, um, I ended up replacing the Marauder's boots with a much nicer pair of boots, which I believe are the Natalia's boots, that had a much better role than my Marauder's boots had. Um, so I'm using that one Natalia's piece at the moment um, on my boots, and I'm using Marauder's for everything else. The other thing that's happened a little bit is that I've had a few other item changes, and I've re-rolled stuff around uh, trying to get elemental arrow damage. Um, I may do some more re-rolling because apparently sentry damage is really good for this build. Um, so I may look into doing that at some point in the future. One nice thing about elemental arrow is it shoots right through those walls. Um, and you see the effect the maelstrom rune has there. I think it's a maelstrom rune. Let's uh, just quickly check that. Yeah, maelstrom. Um, sure, I'll just check my rune in the middle of combat because ain't nobody gonna kill me here. Um, you will notice that I'm doing a lot of damage and that we've just got a set ring. Um, I actually ended up replacing my Stone of Jordan, and the other thing I've ended up replacing is my last two pieces of War Guilds. Which is a bit unfortunate because it means I lose the damage to elites bonuses that both those items give. Um, the problem I had was that I got a ring that was so much better rolled than my Stone of Jordan, which... My, my Stone of Jordan's roll was really bad. Wow, two set rings. Um, and the War Guilds that I've... Uh, sorry. The uh, ring that I've replaced it with, which I believe is a Traveler's Pledge, um, is much better rolled. Um, so that was basically the best option I had there. Um, so yeah, so things have changed a bit. The downside of this is it means it does take me slightly longer to kill Elites and Champions now than it was beforehand. Um, but my overall damage output is much higher. Um, so I felt that that sort of outweighed everything else. And so far it seems to have. I've been able um, to clear Greater Rifts. In fact, I was doing some Greater Rifts yesterday morning um, and managed very briefly to get onto the error leaderboards for Greater Rifts. Um, I got as high as rank 366. I tried to take a screenshot, but the notification about it um, didn't uh, stay on the screen long enough for the screenshot to work. So, but yes, I was very briefly yesterday on the glo on the not the global leaderboard, sorry, the uh, US region leaderboards for Greater Rifts. That's the non-season ones. Um, in case you don't know, a new uh, what Blizzard refers to as an era has begun um, this week, along with the end of season one. The era apparently is basically to do with non-seasonal leaderboards. So. You can see those cluster arrows coming in from a distance from the um, sentries that we've already set up back there. It's a really cool effect um, as that happens. You might also notice that a lot of enemies are turning into chickens. Um, this is because I got the Enchantress focus that gives the Enchantress access to all her abilities. Normally you have to choose five of the ten available abilities that the Enchantress has. Um, and I had a good setup for her. but. The one that unlocks all ten of her abilities dropped. Um, I'd prefer to get her the one that prevents her from dying, but that just hasn't dropped yet. And this one's okay. 
Besides, having the enemies just spontaneously turn into chickens occasionally is pretty funny. So, so that's why enemies are turning into chickens right now. Um, yeah, so I cleared out a lot of Greater Rifts, which was great for making gold, because I'm at a point where it's well over a million gold for completing a rift at this point. Um, and having spent an entirely too much gold on re-rolling some of my gear, um, that's been really handy, actually. So... Anyway, so I'm pretty happy with the current setup. Like I say, Cluster Arrow's downside is that it just uses a lot of hatred, um, which is annoying. So, and that sort of slows you down a little bit. You have to rely a lot on having, um, on dealing damage with, uh, hatred your hatred real. generator, which is Cluster Arrow, uh, not Cluster Arrow, which is, um, uh, evasive fire in this particular case. So, sorry, concentrating on the game and trying to talk at the same time sometimes leads me to forget what I'm saying. So, but yeah, um, so evasive fire and cluster arrow um, seems to work really well at the moment. I'm mostly using cluster arrow uh, not just because this is the frost a frost rune aspect for it. You'll notice I've kept my frost theme that I've had for a while now. We're still using polar station. Cluster arrow has a frost damage rune, um, and evasive fire still has its frost rune as well. Um, and that's primarily because those are the best runes for that, but also because I like the idea of sticking to that elemental theme that I've got going at the moment. Um, so, we've sort of got a big, long corridor of nothing here. This is a bit unusual. You can see there that there were cluster arrows shooting... No, there weren't. Okay, so there weren't cluster arrows shooting from all the way back there because that would have been too long. There is a maximum range on sentries, um, but it's decent enough that you generally don't run into it too much. So. Um, but yeah, this was really easy to clear greater rifts with, um, and you see how much damage I'm doing uh, with cluster arrow. Um, it does a lot of damage, particularly the explosion and then the um, sort of ice shards that fly around afterwards. Um, I think it's 550% weapon damage on its own. And keep in mind that it's then inheriting the 500% damage bonus from having five sentries out, so there's a lot of damage coming through it. Um, one thing I have lost with all this change is that I've lost the damage bonus the depth diggers were giving me to my hatred generator. Because um, I'm now using the uh, Marauder's Pants, I don't have that anymore. So that's about the biggest downside uh, to all this. Now this is a new chain map. Ah, wow, this is a map we haven't seen before in this series. It's the, um, oh, I forgot the name of it, the Catacombs map or whatever it is. Also, it looks like we've got a pony level, guys, so, yay, look at all the teddy bears. Death to the dead teddy bears. So, cuddle bears, sorry. It's been a while since I've seen this, and I've never got the actual, uh, Whimsy Shire themed rift level ever, before ever. Speaking of things I never got before, one of the other things I picked up out of Greater Rift the other day was a Ramaladni's Gift. Um, so, unfortunately I haven't been able to get a replacement for my uh, Wind Force, my Ancient Wind Force that I'm using at the moment. But when I do, if it doesn't have a socket, I'll be able to use the uh, Ramaladni's Gift on it. Um, I did get another Atreyu, but it wasn't as well rolled. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, because I'd like to get a decently rolled Atreyu. Or even a Crider, because um, Crider will let me use uh, Elemental Arrow as a generator, um, which would be pretty devastating. And it would send me back to the um, situation I had with uh, the Sentries and Chakram. So I'd be able to use Elemental Arrow and Cluster Arrow out of the Sentries as well. Ah, didn't mean to do that, but we'll do this anyway. Uh, except, yep, okay, we're not going to die. It's all good. It's all good. I didn't actually mean to bring that up then, but unfortunately it did. Also had a bit of a frame rate drop there, which is unusual. Um, but hopefully nothing too bad. So I wish I could do that. I think popping a lot of damage here, so I just need to be a bit careful. We're almost at the end of the rift now anyway, the boss should be spawning. Um, I'm not sure if I get the special uh, boss that's supposed to go along with this style of rift just for being in the rift, but we'll find out. The rift Guardian has spawned, so... Down this way. Sand Shaper, so we didn't get the... There is a special, um, sort of, Whimsy Shire themed rift boss that you don't need to get for the achievement. You used to, but they've changed that recently. Um, 
So what you'll get a good handle on here is just how much damage the cluster arrow can do. Um, if you look at the sand shaper's health bar while I shoot some cluster arrows at it, it goes down a lot uh, when I hit. With it. Um, and that's because it gets the five explosion effects, plus most of those missiles go straight into it as well. So there's a lot of damage coming out at the sand shaper. I've just got to stay out of these uh, sandstorm key fires. Isn't that difficult? Um, but yeah, this is a really potent setup now, um, and I'm pretty happy with how this character's developed since I started making these videos. Um, and I sort of feel terrible that a lot of the progress recently happened off camera, but at the same time, um, that was mostly because I just got lucky with a few drops uh, in Greater Rifts um, and to be honest most of the progress has happened I mean it doesn't look like it because I'm doing that now but I did change that uh, earlier anyway let's uh, check what legendaries we got in this case it's two set rings so they'll probably be the same one that's a compass rose um, which isn't that well rolled and this one may or may not be a compass rose as well I'm not sure so no that's a focus uh, probably not going to keep either of these, to be honest. So, a bit of a disappointment there, but um, overall I'm pretty happy with how that run went, and rifts should be getting a bit quicker now because I'm doing a lot more damage in them. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.